Controls, arguably the most important thing in a video game, often associated with D-pads and buttons. Physical controllers. But what if I told you I tried creating a game without any of that? How far can we get with just VR's motion day? Find out that and that much more in this devlog of oh. Pretty cool, eh? And that's just a prototype. With Round of Robots, I think we can truly expand what VR has to offer. And that's right on time, because VR is uh, not looking too great right now. Have you ever sat there scrolling through the VR section on Steam one boring evening and all the games just feel kinda meh? It's like the entire storefront is a 5 euro shovelware bargain bin. Compare that to the polish and feel of the next big 3D Mario game. I think VR deserves more awesome, complete games and less tech demos. Now, I'm not saying I'm a one-man Nintendo, but I do think experimentation and innovation are uh, the key to unlocking the full power of virtual reality. And that's what I want to accomplish with Realm of Robots. A VR game inspired by Jet Set Radio, yeah, nuts, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, uh, the, the good parts of Sonic the Hedgehog. And on that journey, I decided to experiment with not having a single button press in my game. Skating, wall grinding, jumping, you name it. Well, let's see how that worked out. Well, things were looking pretty promising at first. Simply swing your arms and you move forward. The simplicity of the action in combination with how similar it is to real life skating feels great. But what if I'm standing in this small alleyway and I want to be more slow and precise? Well, simply swing your arms slowly and you move slowly, right? Uh, simply swing your arms slowly and... Uh, oh. So why does that not work? Well, I could make it so that your smaller hand movements also make you skate, but then what if you want to just, you know, wave at someone, for example? Or just do some cool hand gestures to show off your style. While just swinging your arms without pressing any buttons is a pretty cool selling point, it also has all the characteristics of a design hell. You know, I would rather not get stuck in development hell. I want to get this game to all of you as fast as possible, and right now I'm running a part-time job, so I need to make sure I spend my time wisely. Did I uh, leave the stove on? Right now! Yes, right now! Yes, right now! Over at my co-op, there's a time limit, special, super exclusive time limit, they want supporter back. Yes, yes, yes. So you can show you were here since day one, before the game got popular and blew up. And it's not just bring rides. You also get an exclusive Discord role and your name in the credits of the game. What more could you want? This pack is only available during the early stage of development we're in right now, and after that it's gone. Forever. Yes, forever. Yes. So what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Go, grab it. And round for will get to you faster, 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 faster. So, no buttons was a pretty cool ID and a great selling point, but sometimes things just don't really work out. And the characteristic of a great designer is being able to let go. So, how did I solve the issue then? Well, I did that by adding a single button. Guess I gotta change the title to video now. Hmm. It's just not the same. So, what else changed other than the title? For one, the code. It's a lot simpler now. No longer do I need to check for distance, speed, if the controller is going a certain direction. Minus the orbiting angle of the Earth, and then we did it. The that we did about. All of that is now... If grip button pressed. Maybe I should have started with that. Basically, what I was trying to do with all those checks is to find the exact moment the player would have pressed the imaginary grip button. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. Yeah, what he said. Adding a grip button pretty much fixes all of the issues. Hold the grip when you want to do a skating movement and let it go when you want to just move your hands without skating. 
the game no longer chooses when you skate, but you do. AI 0 and Humanity 1. I might regret saying that in the future. Alright, let's get back to the topic at hand, shall we? Through experimentation, learning from other games, and real-life skating footage, I can assure that Ralph Robots will be super intuitive and smooth nice. to control when it eventually releases. And that also requires a ton of input from you all. For example, by uh, playtesting. Yeah, you heard that right. As a bonus for watching till the end, you are invited to our super secret hideout over at Discord. It already has over 100 people in it. It's not that secret then, is it? It's the place to share your love for Jet Set Radio, Sonic, music, art, anything really. It's also the place to sign up for the upcoming playtests. Just hit this little button over here and you're in. Would be a shame to miss your chance. Go on, join it. Yeah, go on, this, this, this video just won't continue otherwise. Check out some of these amazing artists that have shared their work over there. If you have any of your own work, feel free to post it and there's a very good chance it will be shown here on this channel. I want to give back to this awesome expressive community and your hard work should be seen. And with that, this devlog comes to an end. I want to thank you all for watching uh, till the end and hopefully see you again in uh, less than 8 weeks this time. Um, to lower the weight a little bit, you can join the Discord for playtesting and more, or you could uh, take a look at my axe. There's a bunch of hidden prototype footage over there, so if you like what you saw, make sure to check that out too. And don't forget to pick up a supporter pack for just 3 hours a month, you can already have a huge impact on the speed of development of Round for Robots. You get the game in your hands faster, and I get to work a bit more in my dream game every week. I would say win-win. In the meantime, if you want to see more of Round for Robots, why not check out my latest video over here? It's all about how realism almost ruined my VR game. What could that mean? Or just check out the whole playlist over here, if anything. And also make sure to subscribe, like over here. Uh, well, I guess that's it for now. See you all next time. Peace.